Corythosaurus, could you please bring over one of those flatworms so that they could speak into the microphone? I'm not sure you want to do that. You see, while this animal is bilaterally symmetrical and does have a head, it has not yet moved its mouth to the head end yet. Even today, flatworms still have their mouth in the center of their bodies, more like a jellyfish than most worms. And they only have one opening for their digestive system. So therefore, this one opening is where food enters, it's also where undigested waste leaves, so this one opening is more or less serving as both the mouth and the anus. I'm not sure we want to stick a microphone up to that opening. So, this is the first animal with a brain, and it's using the same opening for both its mouth and its anus? Are you kidding me? There are a number of other worms, especially as the Ediacaran period progresses. Some of them become more elongated and move their mouth to the head end of their bodies and at the other end of their intestine develop a second opening serving as an anus. So worms evolve the first complete digestive systems where food runs the length of a digestive tract and there are worm burrows found from the Ediacaran period with feces indicating that these worms had advanced beyond the primitive state and had complete digestive systems. Well, those worms are starting to get their act together. Is there anything that those worms have been up to by the end of the Ediacaran period? Worms were diversifying towards the end of the Ediacaran period. And just in the final years of the Ediacaran period, some worms needed to protect themselves from predators, which were becoming common during that time. And so therefore, Claudina actually developed a shell around itself for protection. And some of these shells apparently were not sufficient because there are marks indicating that predators were able to prey on the worms in inside. And so therefore, food chains had developed to the point where more advanced predators and defense mechanisms in prey had become diverse by the end of the Ediacaran period.